Hello everyone and welcome back to Network 13. Today we're going to be doing a really quick video on this item here. This is an HC-SR04 ultrasonic ranging module. And if you recall in our October mailbag video we had we had featured this. So what we're going to do today really really quick is do a, a demonstration and we have a test circuit here so let's just go over this really quick. This is the module here. It has four pins. Show you those. Four pins. There is a VCC uh, pin. There's a ground pin. There's a trigger input and there's an echo output. Now, how this module works is you put a, uh, a trigger pulse into the trigger pin and the data sheet specifies 10 microseconds for this. And after this happens, the module will output eight uh, ultrasonic bursts. They're 40 kilohertz frequency. And those come out of one of these two transducers, actually. It's this one here on the left. It's T. The other one is R. Um, and then after it's fired the eight bursts, there's a small delay, and then the echo pin will output a uh, pulse, and the width of the pulse is proportional to the distance between the ultrasonic transducers and um, the target that you're measuring distance to. And the formula for calculating this distance is that the time of the pulse in microseconds divided by 148 gives you the distance in inches, or conversely, if the time in microseconds over 58 would give you the distance in centimeters. And the range of this module, effective range, according to the data sheet, is two centimeters to four meters, or about three quarters of an inch to 13 feet. Um, there is um, a data sheet, a uh, link to a data sheet that I'm going to be putting in the, uh, into the uh, video description. So. Uh, and I'll just show you this again one more time up close. It has three ICs, resistors, caps, kind of standard stuff. The other side has uh, a uh, crystal, and it has the header, and it has the two transducers. Okay, so I wired up the module in our test circuit. Um, what we have here is uh, we have a 5 volt supply on the module and we have a, um, a trigger circuit that I threw together, or a quick and dirty trigger circuit. I have a push button with, um, hold on, let me show you this. I have a push button, I have a cap, and I have a bleeder resistor across the cap, and then I have a potentiometer at the bottom, and I've adjusted this to give a uh, an approximately... <laughs> It's approximately 10 microsecond wide uh, trigger request. It doesn't, doesn't look like this. It's not a nice sharp uh, uh, pulse here. It's more of a, a spike and a decay. But it seems to be working okay. I think the module only really wants to see this leading edge to initiate the read cycle. It doesn't, I don't think it really cares about what happens afterwards. So seems to be working. Um, Anyway, this is our module. That's our our trigger circuit with the push button, and this is our scope, right? So, um, what we're going to be looking at is we have the scope set up to measure pulse width, and what I'm going to do is where is it? We're going to be using this as our as our target today. This is uh, the engineer's mini notebook by Forrest Mims. The third, old Radio Shack uh, classic. <laughs> We're going to be using this as as our as our target. So let's see. Let's try ten inches. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten inches is here. And let's fire this. Okay. I fired a number of pulses. It all seems pretty repeatable and consistent. The pulse width is 1.47 milliseconds. 
or 1470 microseconds. If I divide that by 148, I get a distance of 9.9 9.93 inches. Oh, cause that's that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Let's try another one. Let's try five inches. One, two, three, four, five, which would be at 11 here, and we'll fire a few bursts. Okay. The scope is saying 740 microseconds. 740 divided by 148 is five inches right on the money. Okay, let's try one more. Let's try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We'll go way out here to 15 inches and see what we get. Okay. Scope is telling us 2.16 milliseconds or 2160 microseconds divided by 148. 14.59. So I, I said 15 inches. I mean, close enough. That's pretty close. I mean, there could be some distortion happening um, as these pulses leave the, uh, the transducer or they begin to spread out. Maybe, in a, uh, maybe have other things here on the workbench or in the room that are interfering with it. But that's uh, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all for something I think I paid uh, about a dollar for. <laughs> so <laughs> that's really, really impressive. Really impressive. Now, if you, if you don't have a hard surface, like if I try to do this with my hand, um, let's see, is that giving me a good number? One, two, three, four, five, six inches. It's 868 over, oh, 868 over 148. Oh, okay, 5.86. I, I mean, yeah, you, okay. It, it, it said in the data sheet that, it, it, if, you know, a, a, hard, a harder surface or, or something that's going to be able to reflect your, your pulses is better, of course, but it seems to work okay even with something like against my hand. Let me try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me try out here with my hand and see what we get for a result. One, all right, 1460. So I think that's going to be 1460. It's going to be pretty close to 10 inches, and it is again. Pretty close to 10 inches. Okay, even even with even with my hand, I would imagine if I had something that was uh, that that wasn't uh, very flat, or if it was like a piece of foam or a piece of cloth, it may not work as well. But uh, like I said, for uh, for a uh, for a module like this, to I think it costs like I said, I think it cost me a dollar <laughs> from my eBay the eBay seller. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, that's it for this demonstration today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, if you want to leave a comment, you can leave a comment in the comment section under the video, or you can write to us at network13.contact at gmail.com. That's network13.contact at gmail.com. And I will be putting a link to the data sheet for this, for this ultrasonic transducer module, ultrasonic ranging module, sorry. I'll be putting a link to the data sheet for this item um, below the video on the YouTube page. Okay, and that's about it. I will say, as always, thank you for watching.